Okay, in this video, we're just going to do a quick demo of default encryption in AWS S3 for our buckets. Um, so I just wanted to show this um, quick demo here. This is a, a static website that we're hosting right now in S3. It's just a simple website with a single image and a title, as you can see here. Um, so it's hosted in S3, and I can um, load it here. And this website, there's no encryption for it. I'm going to show you the bucket. This is the bucket. And uh, in the permissions, you know, we've enabled, I already, did, I already did another video to show how to host a static website in S3. So there's a bucket policy for it. Um, and what we'll do is we enable static hosting, which is here. And so now we can do the static hosting. Now, the thing that we don't have is we don't have any default encryption. That's what I was going to talk about in this video. So uh, for the default encryption, right now it's not using anything, uh, but you can select two here. There are a couple of other ways to do it, but I'm just going to show um, these two ways in this video. So this is the default S3 encryption, which is AES-256, and we can select that. Once we select that, we save it. So now it's showing that we have AES-256 as default encryption. So what I can do now is I'm going to upload a, um, a newer version of my file, and this is something that I'm going to show here. So right now, these are the, these are all the files that uh, I have. So there's only two files. There's the JPEG and then the index.html, and there's only one version of, of each file. So I'm going to create a version 2 of my index.html and I'm going to upload it here. And you see, I'm not specifying, I could have, I can specify an encryption if I go here and just down here. I could do it on a per file basis, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm just gonna do the default. So I'm gonna let the default encryption work instead. So I can just do that, just upload. So now I have a new version of my file, and if I look here, see how it says right here AES-256? So this version has AES-256 encryption, whereas this version has no encryption. So I'm going to refresh the page, and it's showing version 2, uh, and it's an encrypted, it's stored as an encrypted file in S3. And what I could do now is I can go into my properties here and change the default encryption to KMS. And KMS is now, um, so I have to select a key in KMS. And there's a bunch of custom keys that I can choose from. I'm just going to choose the, the default um, S3 key that KMS uses. I could save that. And then here you can see now it's showing KMS as the default encryption. And what I'll do is I'm going to change it to version 3 so we can see the difference and if I upload it okay if I do that and again I'm not selecting any encryption which I can do individually here I can also select KMS here but I'm going to just let the default encryption work so there now I have a new version of that file and if I look here, it's shown KMS. So this version of the file is KMS encrypted. This version of the file is uh, AES-256 encrypted. And the original version is not encrypted at all. Now, if I try to, if I try to display the website, it's not going to work because I have to configure my IAM, poli IAM uh, and my KMS policies and users. So that way, I would be allowed to retrieve that. So watch, if I try to do it, it's going to say, it's a bad request, invalid. Um, it would. It's just because I don't have permissions to decrypt that file. But what I could do is if I delete that version of KMS and go, which will then go back to um, the AES-256 encryption. So if I do this, so now we should see the previous version of the file, which is right here. And then if I that's that's version two. And if I delete this one, uh, it's going to show me the original unencrypted file, which is this one here. And that's it.